Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. It's possible to start BricsCAD with a script file so that it automatically does things right when it starts up, and it's possible to add list routines, and that's what this video is about. First, let's see how to make BricsCAD start up with a script file. You're no doubt familiar with the icon on the uh, desktop. Uh, before you start this tutorial, I advise you making a copy. To do that, hold down the control key, then drag down, and there's your second copy. The secret to starting BrickScatter with a script file is to add a special character, a meta character, called slash B. And I'll show you how to do that now. First of all, let's open the properties dialog box. And you do that by right clicking the icon and then choosing properties. You can see in here it says shortcut and then there's here an item called target. I'm going to add this new text to the end of it. So I'm going to put in the slash B. I think that's short for batch. But anyhow what it does is it alerts BricsCAD to look for a script file. And the name of the script file is what we put next. Both the name and its path. Now that can be a bit tricky to type in especially if it's a long one. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to open up this folder and uh, first of all copy the path. I'm going to do that by right clicking here and copy address as text. So let's drop this down. Now we need to sur surround it with quotation marks in case there's any spaces because otherwise Windows will see spaces as the, as the end of a command and try to execute it. So put in the uh, quotation mark, press Control V to paste that, add a backslash because next is going to be the file name. And the file name we can copy by also going to properties and grabbing it out of its properties box. Good. So we'll minimize those. Put in the file name, closing quotes, and click OK. So let's see what happens when we now go to start up BricsCAD. I've double clicked it and uh, you can see what's happened is that the batch file has run immediately and this is the script that draws elements we're familiar from earlier tutorials. I'll just uh, press F2 to bring up the uh, command prompt history. Uh, we can see here the script, the script to run, and then there's the name of it and the path, and then rectangle command, circle command, layers command, zoom commands, etc. After all that work, it seems just a bit unfair to show you a much faster way to start BrickScat with a script. All you do is take a script file, double click it, BrickScat starts up, and you have, do have to click uh, this Get Started uh, button to get past it, and there the script is run, complete with all the drawing it does automatically. There's one other thing that can be added to script files and I want to talk about them now and that is Lisp code. Lisp is a programming language included for free with BricsCAD. It uh, operates at the command prompt uh, just like commands do and that's why Lisp routines can be included. I'm going to show you an example here to show just how complex a script file can get. Uh, the first couple of lines here are uh, comments. And we know they're comments because they have a semicolon in front and that means that uh, BricsCAD will ignore those lines, won't act on them. The next one, however, is indeed a Lisp code. And you can always tell Lisp code because it's surrounded in parentheses. And in fact, uh, one uh, joke about Lisp is that Lisp is an acronym for lost in stupid parentheses. In this Lisp routine, we're using the command function. The command function in Lisp, all it does is execute a command along with its options. Uh, options that are uh, text are in quotation marks, numbers are just plain numbers but it lets you see a bit easier what's going on and in this particular one we're using the dash style command to uh, define the style based on the roman s font remember that the dash sign in front of command forces BricsCAD to use the command line version the underscore internationalizes the command so it can be this english uh, command can be used in any language of cad and the dot forces BricsCAD to use the style command even if it's been undefined by another user. In this line of code we see something a little more uh, Lisp-like. We've got an if statement there. Like other programming languages it does if then. This is wildcard match. It's uh, checking to see if certain characters are match. This particular function 
is get var. It's a get a system variable name. In this case, it's the command names system variable. And then following this, we have uh, standard uh, stuff you expect to see in a script file. In this particular case, it's setting various system variables. Specifically, these ones, of course, deal with dimensioning. And on and on it goes. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.